guys, um, this is the continuation of my counter tutorial over here. In this tutorial, we'll go over how to create custom UI buttons to replace the default buttons. So first, what you want to do is you want to open up this side menu right here. If it's closed, you just press project to open it. Make sure that this is selected to Android. Go under apps, resources, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new drawable file. So you can right click the drawable folder, select new, and click on drawable resource file. I'm just going to name this button underscore circle. Because I'm going to change this button into, be a, into a circular button. Okay, so when you create the file, this will pop up. As you can see, under the drawable is under the drawable folder. Um, so what we're going to do first is that we're going to highlight selector and pull it, replace it with shape. And after this uh, import XML import here, put a space, type in shape, and we're going to put an oval. And this, as you can see, I'm still using the autofill feature. So this is what, let me just make this a bit bigger right here. This is what you should have right now. Make sure that the brackets are placed properly and such. So inside, we're going to define the color of our oval. So you do the um, triangle thing of Bob, type in solid color. And you can see it all, it'll all fill in. Just press enter for that. And here you can enter the color of the button you want. This uses a um, the hex keys. So we do start the hashtag F F44336. And this is the hex key for the color red, as you can see over here. And we end, you can just put a forward slash in the, in the, in the line. And I also want to add a border to my button. So what you can do is you press, get these brackets up, uh, type in stroke, width, and set it to 1 dp, forward slash. So as you can see here, there's a small black line now around the border of my button. You can of course increase this to be like 5 dp, and get thicker. So now if we go back to activity main up here, remember you can get back to this in case you accidentally closed it by going under the resource file, under layouts, and activity main will be right there. So if we go to our button, just type, type in background, have the olifill feature, Add drawable. This means something in the drawable folder, which is where we created our custom button. And then the name of the, the file, which is button circle. Button, and it'll come up with an autofill feature. And we'll do that for the bottom button. Now, as you can see here, the buttons aren't actually uh, a circle. It's because the width and height of the buttons are set to wrap content. So it distorts the button to minimize the amount of space used and just allow it to fit, then to minimize the, the space used by the button. So what we could do is that we could cut, we can uh, manually set the width and height. So let's set the width to be 100 dp and the height to be 100 dp. So now it evens out the buttons. Do that for the bottom. And there we go, we now have uh, custom UI buttons. Thanks for watching guys and that's all.